but he really wasn't seeking any honors, really. He, he just um, was very touched by the plight of so many people in conflict areas suffering around the world. We just, it's very hard for us Americans to have any idea. The more Jim saw the suffering, the more he experienced what was going on, the more he was drawn to cover it and bring it back to us. He was very touched by the people in all the places he went, you know, who wanted freedom. He, he felt with them and wanted to cover what they were doing. He was very passionate about that. So we, are, we have established a legacy foundation, as Mr. Trump said, because we don't want Jim to have died in vain. This has been a long road these last 20 months. It's a long road for Jim. It's a long road for us. We couldn't have stood or walked or talked or prayed or believed without the hope and the prayers of all of you and people like you around the world. You gave us strength and we know you gave Jim strength. We know through his friends um, that he could feel those prayers um, and they gave him strength to know again. So one of the goals of the Legacy Foundation will be, in fact, to support hostage families. We know Jim would want that very much. Mm -hmm. other, another goal will be to establish a better direct line of communication from uh, State Department and other government uh, agencies to help us make this trip. The result may not have been different, but certainly we would have been part of the process instead of part of the problem. I think we have a lot of work to do, and we need each and every one of you to um, support us, not only financially, if possible, but certainly with the prayer and, and uh, goodwill and hope. Um, there are so many wonderful people doing the work that Jim did committed to freedom of speech, committed to helping others less fortunate, um, committed to improving the world for young, young people, both in terms of getting them an education, providing them with coats, shoes. It makes me cry to think of young children and fear they displaced from their home with no clothes, no food, nothing. We, we live a very comfortable life here. Diane said that he was able to live in, with nothing and with plenty. And I, I think that that is true. But I know he would like to provide more to the people who have had nothing.